Hello, my name is Rainbow Surfer and welcome to my channel. Today we are making a speed build. This speed build is a sunflower speed build. Well, a fl sunflower house speed build. Because I was originally going to make a different house, but I couldn't figure out the living room. So I was going to just give up for the day and try another day. But then I was listening to a song called Honey. And I was like, I really want to make a house inspired by this song. But then I realized that we don't have a bunch of bee themed things or like honey themed things. So then I went with sunflower because I know in the sim we have sims we have a few sunflower things. So I took this to one idea and I kind of ran with it. And I actually think this house came out pretty cute. It is very small. I want to try and work on bigger houses, but this house is one bedroom, one bathroom, one kitchen, and like one living room, but they're merged together. They're separated by like an island. You'll see what I'm talking about in a few moments. Also, I got a new mic recently, so I hope you guys can tell the difference because it is a very big upgrade from my last mic. And please bear with me while I try and work out any background noise. I'm not the best with dealing with background noise, but I will try my best to get rid of it as fast as possible and hopefully in my more recent videos there will be no background noise. I am very excited because I only have like two weeks left of classes this semester and I am so happy. I have an English class which is really great but there's so much writing in it because it's a writing class and we had this like small five page essay that we had to do and I thought for sure that I was going to fail this essay but I ended up getting a really, really good grade, and I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm also proud of myself because last weekend I streamed for the first time on Twitch, and to be honest, I was kind of nervous about it, and I was nervous throughout the entire thing, but also I was really excited when I was done streaming. My only issue was my mic, but I have a better mic now so I can stream more, and Hopefully my mic quality is better than it was before. You'll see in a few seconds what I was talking about with the counter separating the kitchen and the living room. You've probably seen it before in real life, it's quite common, but I thought it was really really cute. There was that one corner by the door that I had no idea what to do with it, so I left it empty but maybe you could add like a hello? I have no clue what the heck that was. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but it sounded like scratching. But my cat is currently on my bed sleeping, so we're going to pretend that didn't happen and continue with the build. I was going to make the living room yellow, but I thought it was too much yellow, so I decided to go with a brown and have the other rooms be yellow, like the bathroom and the bedroom, and then have the living room be a plain brown because again I'm going for a sunflower theme and sunflowers are not only yellow but they're also brown and I think this house does really look like a sunflower. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does because that's what I was striving for. I have a class that uses an online book and as I stated before I only have like two weeks of class left and the homeworks are inside the book. So when I went to do my homework, my book was gone. And for a while I thought it was like my fault and maybe the rental expired because I didn't purchase the books because college books are way too expensive. Anyways, I looked, I decided to email the teacher in the bookstore because I wasn't going to rent it again. They're like $50 for renting. But I looked on the website and it said there's 120 days for the rental until it expires. And so I was like, hmm, maybe the 120 days are up. So I looked and it wasn't because it expires in May. So then I was like, I don't know what to do because I don't want to rebuy this book for uh, two weeks. So then 
I kept trying and to get into the book and it was like, no. And I was about to give up and then I tried one more time and then it finally let me in. But it, it was really strange because it was like, thank you for purchasing this book. But I didn't purchase it. So, I'm a little confused on if I have the book or not, but I did my homework as soon as I got in because I don't know what's going to happen. This story had like no point to it. It was just a really weird thing that happened. And hopefully I still have my book because we have a few homeworks left. So hopefully I still have a book. Also, I was trying to put a carpet in the kitchen because I felt like the kitchen was really, really plain. I should have left the kitchen without a carpet, but I was like, there must be a carpet in this kitchen. Where I think it makes it look worse than if there was nothing at all. Also, I really want to use those because they look so cute and adorable. It just didn't go with yellow. So maybe I'll put them in my next pink build. Sometimes I look at this house and I love it and other times I hate it. I think it's cute. I think. I mean, it could be ugly and I just have bad taste, but I, I think it looks cute. I also think I'm getting better with building. Because before I started YouTube, I wasn't much of a builder. I wanted to build a lot because I enjoyed it. I just never really did it. So recording it and posting them to YouTube helps me a lot. And I think I've improved quite a bit since my first video. And now we're on to the bedroom. I love this bedroom. I widened the room to the bedroom because it was very, very small. I want to create bigger houses because with smaller houses, I can't really do things that I want to do with them, but they are cute and tiny and easy for me to work with because I'm not the best at decorating or building, but I think building a bigger house would be a challenge and I should do it because you need to do things to learn how to do things. I changed this bedroom wall color to the sunset wall. I don't even know if these wallpapers that I'm calling like the sun set and sunrise are supposed to be them, but that's what they remind me of and I've just always called it that. I think it's more of a golden hour sunset. Yeah, that's what that reminds me of. It's really pretty good though and fits the bed very well. I think this bedroom is really really cute. I don't like the curtains. I haven't figured out the curtains yet, but I am working on the curtains. Recently, I've been watching Big Time Rush because they put it on Netflix and that show was my childhood. I may be almost in my 20s now, but that show is still one of the funniest shows and I am very happy to be watching it right now. There is nothing else to really watch anyways. Another show that I need to watch is probably iCarly, because that was also a great show. And I haven't watched it yet, and it, they did put it on Netflix as well. And now we're working on the outside of the house. I kind of struggled with the exterior of this house. I think I've improved a lot from like last time, but I struggled with pathing because nothing really looked good. I ended up doing more of a concrete pathing than a dirt pathing or stone pathing. Also, I tried lining the house with flowers, but it didn't really work out. I th and I think I used bushes instead of these flowers. Even though I can't tell if I hate it or like it, I still can't. So please tell me if this looks good or if what I did instead looked better or worse. Because, you know, criticism is always good. That's a lie. Not all criticism is good criticism. Some criticism is bad, but criticism sometimes can be good. I like how I lined up these sunflowers because it actually looks natural instead of the plants having only three sunflowers and three sunflowers and three sunflowers. I wish they gave you more options for different like plants like the same plant 
but different options for those plants so it didn't look like a copy and paste. That's why I try making my gardens look as uneven as possible and it doesn't look like it's the same exact plant being placed over and over again and they actually look like they're different plants. Like with the rocks, there's only like three rocks. How am I going to make a rock pathway with like three rocks instead of like rotating and making them smaller? Anyways, I wish they gave us more variety with everything like that, like the plants, the bushes, the trees, and the rocks, because that would make my life so much easier. I kind of like how this backyard came out. I'm definitely not good at backyards, but I think this came out pretty cute. I also was going to put sunflowers in those planters, but I completely forgot about it. So if you want to do that, you can. Although you can change anything in this build because, you know, you download the house, it's in your game file, you can do whatever you want with it. This is just like a little basic house for anyone who loves sunflowers. Or maybe you don't and you just get rid of everything and that's okay too. I have no issues with that. We are nearing the end of the video, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please do subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye!